We're making keto cottage pie in a mug without any cauliflower. Let's go. Who doesn't love cottage pie? We've got ground beef at the bottom with a little bit of vegetables and it's nice and juicy. And the issue with the cottage pie on keto is the mash. Now, we normally do a cauliflower mash, but some people don't like the taste. And if you're using cauliflower as a rice substitute, you may be tired of cauliflower. So in this video, we're gonna make a potato out of something else. We have flavored this with dried thyme and we have bone broth in there, a little bit of pepper and of course seasoned with salt. And we've made it a little juicy with some bone broth or beef broth and you can also add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So, how does it taste? Pretty damn good. Well, that's a pretty good recommendation for me. Your nutritional information and your shopping list is listed in the description box. And let's get into the recipe now. Let's prepare the meat filling first. Over a medium heat at one tablespoon of oil, I used avocado. Then a fully packed half cup of ground beef, two tablespoons of diced onion and two tablespoons of diced carrot or alternatively use your favorite keto approved vegetables. I then broke up the meat and let that cook for about five minutes and seasoned with a pinch of black pepper, one teaspoon of dried thyme and between two to four tablespoons of beef stock or broth, depending on how juicy you want it to be. Give it a final stir and check that the meat is cooked, then add it to your mug. To make a keto mashed potato, add two tablespoons of coconut flour to a bowl, one eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, which is about two pinches, a pinch of salt, add two tablespoons of boiling water and mix that together until it looks crumbly. If you find it too dry, do add another tablespoon of boiling water and mix again. Now to flavor the mash, add one tablespoon of almond milk, one tablespoon of melted butter or oil, and a sprinkle of dried thyme and give that a final mix. Then spoon the mash onto the ground beef mixture in the mug. Do taste the mash now as you may wish to add more salt. I added a couple of tablespoons of shredded cheese as that's how some people like it. Microwave for 60 seconds if you have a 700 watt microwave. Or 45 seconds if you have a 1000 watt microwave and your keto cottage pie is ready. Now that you've seen the recipe, you will notice that we spend a little more time cooking your meat and making your mash. And really it's just one minute in the microwave. But the total cooking time is about 10 minutes and you can actually make your mash while your meat's cooking. So that'll cut the time down even more. I really hope you get to try this lovely, simple dish. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.